Hey y'all, cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. I wanted to share with y'all a crock pot recipe that I picked from Pinterest. And I also posted it on my Pinterest and on the webpage, the cookingcuttingup.com, there's a button that you can press and it'll go to my Pinterest. So if y'all want the recipe in writing, you can see it there. Anyway, I had bought pork chops this week and um, I wanted to do something hearty with them. Something kind of, you know, it's fall and it's cooler outside. And so, you know, one of those comfort foods. And I think this is going to be one of them. It's called crock pot ranch, uh, chick, ranch pork chops and potatoes. Ranch pork chops and potatoes. Okay. Anyway, what it said was, it said six pork chops. But y'all, I bought two packages that had eight in them. I'm using all eight of them. So I salt and peppered them and I seared them before I went live in a pan with just a little bit of olive oil. So, hey y'all, how are you? Hey, Ann. Um, anyway, I'm gonna mix together the um, olive oil. It's a half a cup of olive oil. It is, let's say, two tablespoons of dry ranch mix, which I'll go ahead and put that in there. And then it is two, let's say, two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. Sounds really good. And I just won't tell the hubs that it's called ranch chicken or ranch uh, pork chops because he'll think of ranch dressing and he doesn't need ranch dressing and then it'll be a whole big ordeal. So we're just gonna call this when he gets home tonight crock pot of uh, potatoes and pork chops. Anyway, two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar into this. I've never done this before. This is the first time, so um, I will post a picture of the um, finished product and make a comment on it, like how was it and that kind of thing. And y'all know I'm like brutally honest when it comes to that. Let me give this a little stir. Okay. Now, I'm gonna cube a, uh, three pounds of red potatoes. So I'm gonna tilt this down. Oh, Rhonda, you're sweet. I appreciate that. I don't always feel thin, that's for sure, but I'm working on it. We're all just a work in progress, right? I wash these, by the way. And as I cube them, I'm just gonna toss them into my crock pot, which is sprayed with just a little bit of cooking spray. And listen, sometimes when I do, um, recipes live, I, I've, I have found that people say to me, you know, that gave me a great idea or whatever. You know, you might not can cook it right along with me that day, but you can certainly do it the next day. And um, if you don't have Pinterest, a Pinterest account, you can rewind this video and rewatch it and write it down if you love the recipe. It sounded really good to me. Make sure I don't cut my finger off or anything. Wouldn't that be terrible to cut your finger off from life? That would be bad. Just saying. And this time of year, y'all be like, well, is that on purpose? Is that a Halloween prank? <laughs> I can just hear the comments now. Okay. So three pounds of these red potatoes. And I did not peel mine. I'm leaving mine just like they are. should have had these done before I went live. It might take a few minutes, y'all. Sorry about that. You know, there's people on this vlog that want to see every step, and then there's some people that are like, you know, there's too much talking. Just show us the recipe. That has a bad place. So let me put that over there. Um, you never can satisfy everybody all the time. I'm just saying. Debbie from Indiana. That's the nice thing about Facebook live videos is that if people are at work right now and want to see this later, they can watch it back later because it's going to be saved to my page. Which is great. I think we all need new ideas of some new stuff to make. You know what I'm saying? 
Somebody said, just got on, what are we making? We are making crock pot, ranch, pork chops, and potatoes. So all in one kind of dish in your crock pot. This is gonna cook low for six hours, or you can cook it on high for three. Totally up to you. And I'm assuming, since I don't have an Instapot, I can't give you a testimony on that, but I'm assuming you could do this in an Instapot for people that have an Instapot. Tell the people, let's see, let's see what'd she say? Tell the people to take a bath. <laughs> Joyce, I know, sometimes I want to, but then I don't wanna go like, you know, on through the negative thing, cause then, be you know judged for that too. anyway I just try to do what I do and if y'all want to watch that's great and if you don't that's okay too everybody don't that's okay I'm gonna place my prop my um pork chops over top of the potatoes and the recipe called for three-fourths inch cut um, pork chops and that's what I bought. You know, if you're like me, you try to buy stuff that's on sale. I do, anyway. We're gonna pour this over the top. Let me pull this in here. There we go. I'd sure love to come to your house and eat just one time. <laughs> listen, it'd have to be, you know, one of my best recipes, because listen, I can mess up with the best of them, for sure. All right. There we go. And on the top of that, I'm gonna, I have cubed uh, two tablespoons of butter. So I'm gonna put this over the top. This is definitely not on the WW recipe, but I did put it into my app and it's like 16 points for a serving. So this will be my points for today if you're following and are doing Weight Watchers. You know, I, I try to, put my stuff in. If I know what I'm doing for dinner, I try to put it in first and then uh, then I'll know how many points I can eat for lunch and for breakfast. That's just how I do it. Everybody's different. That's what makes the world go round. Okay. Now, I'm going to cover this and I might do some stewed apples with this. Uh, as a matter of fact, I probably will in green beans and that way I'll have two choices of stuff I can eat with it that are zero points. I'm gonna cover this and cook it on low for six hours. Like I said, once it comes up and we're ready to eat, I will take a picture of it and I'll post a picture underneath this vlog. So um, that's what I'm doing in my kitchen today. Crock pot, ranch, pork chops, and potatoes. I have to think about it because I've done so much chicken. Anyway, I did brown the pork chops, Michelle. Just seared them on both sides for about three minutes on medium heat. So I'll let you know how that comes out when it comes out. And I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. See y'all. Bye.